When you walk outside, the moisture inside your nose instantly freezes. That's when you know that it's at least minus 15. It's a frozen tundra that's crossed with the Wild West. It spreads out about 50 to 60 miles on either side. So you're talking about the largest oil basin in the United States. And we're producing close to a million barrels a day. But also, there's a byproduct of gas that's associated with that oil. Due to economic reasons and infrastructure reasons, about 30% of the gas in North Dakota associated with oil production is sent to a flare stack, which simply burns the gas and is much less of a pollutant to the environment um, as just venting it to the atmosphere. But it's really not a clean and cheap solution. When we're driving down the road in North Dakota and you see a flare stack on the left and a flare stack on the right, we just see dollars going up in the air. There's no need to be flaring gas two miles down the road from an engine that's using diesel that could be running off natural gas cheaper and cleaner. Of incentives for stat oil to capture that gas, obviously the revenue, and we want to be able to lessen that impact on the environment. But we don't have the infrastructure with the pipelines in place to be able to capture all of that gas. And so there's where we have to look for alternatives, and GE and Ferris have been able to do that. Our solution is what we term the last mile, which is the hard part, getting that gas in the truck and to the customer over the road. That's not an easy thing to do. It's not like driving up and down the highway with a milk truck. The Bakken Formation has very cold weather, challenging terrain, so we needed to find a company that was used to operating these conditions and partner with Harris Natural Gas Fuels. Our company specializes in moving molecules over very rough terrain in really technically challenging environments. GE's CNG in a box technology, that natural gas that was otherwise going into a flare will get compressed, put in our trucks, and then our drivers will take those trailers to the end customer. So with a last mile fueling solution, a customer can save about half of the cost that they pay for fuel today. At GE, we look at this as a big opportunity that would ultimately create tremendous economic benefit for our customers and have the least amount of environmental impact, especially in applications where you're producing a flare stack, which is a significant contributor of CO2 to the atmosphere. Looking to the future, we see opportunity for this solution to be everywhere. There's no reason why all those drilling rigs can't be running off gas. This GE last mile fueling model, being able to compress, capture that gas, transport it by truck and get it to the end user, can be perfected here in the Bakken and be a model for basins all over the world.